Okay, so today we're going to be learning about uh, radiochemistry and stereochemistry. These are both ways of describing how molecules are going to interact with each other. Regioselectivity describes how one molecule is going to want to bond in a certain way with another molecule. So take this molecule right here and then this one right here. You already know that the H and the bromine are going to attach right here and right here up in, uh, on either side of this alkene bond. Now the bromine is always going to attach right here because of regioselectivity. The bromine is always going to want to attach to the spot on one side of the alkene that has more substituents. And as a result, this H is always going to go to the other side of the alkene with less substituents. Obviously this only applies whenever there is a difference of substituents on the sides of the alkene. Stereochemistry involves the way molecules are situated once they end up in their positions on either side of the alkene. Now in this bromine, bromide molecule reacts with this molecule right here. One bromine is going to go on one side of the alkene and one bromine is going to go on the other side of the alkene, turning it into an alkane. These bromines are always going to attach trans to each other, or anti, sorry, that's the correct word, anti to each other. One bromine is going to be positioned up, and one bromine is going to be positioned down. They're never going to be on the same side because of how this molecule reacts. This is stereoselectivity. You can have both stereoselectivity and regioselectivity in a single reaction. When a bromine and a water molecule react with an alkene, the bromine, there's going to be one bromine and one OH attached to either side of the alkene. The OH and the bromine are always going to be anti each other. They're always going to attach in opposite ways. One will be up, one will be down. In addition, the OH will, always, will also show regioselectivity in attaching to the more substituted uh, carbon on one side of the alkene, which, meaning the bromine is always going to substitute to be less substituted carbon on one side of the alkene when it does have that option 